Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. Um, I've been setting up the new equipment, and since I don't have lunar targets and things to shoot at right now, I'm doing deep space. Uh, I'm using all new equipment, and uh, here I'll show you a picture of the camera. I call this the Chem UFO Sniper, um, but I'm getting used to this camera, and I'll show you some of the work I'm doing to get used to the equipment, and we'll start with deep space. Okay, so I'm going to orient you in the sky uh, to where the objects I'm going to show you in this clip are located. And as you can see here, here is south, so we're slightly west of south. And here is the constellation of Scorpius. Um, and just to the right of that, you can see here Mars and Saturn are getting ready to set uh, near the west. At any rate, the star we're going to look at here is Antares, which is a really interesting star and one that everyone should know because uh, it, it, it orients you to a couple of things, um, to what's up in the sky, the constellations that are up in the sky, and uh, the time of year. This is a, in the warmer months, I think around the end of May, this star comes up. It's with us for about four months, but it looks kind of orangish to your eye and it's actually an interesting star. It's one of four stars that were referred to as the royal stars of Persia, the other three stars being Aldebaran and Taurus, Regulus and Leo, which is the heart of Leo, as this is the heart of the scorpion, and Fomalhaut, or Formalhaut, something like that, I can never pronounce it, Fomalhaut in Pisces, which is uh, the mouth of the southern fish. So the other interesting thing about this star is it's one of the biggest things we can see with our naked eye. It's nearly 900 times the size of our sun. I think 880 sometimes the size of our sun. So the other object that we're going to look at here is M22 in Sagittarius. And I'll uh, zoom in here so you can see where in Sagittarius that is. So here's Sagittarius, M22 is right here. It's a globular cluster, and I'll talk a little bit more about those when I get the image up. Okay, so here is Antares through the new telescope with the new camera. And what I've done here is I've taken the star out of focus, which does a couple things. Um, when you can see the hole in the center is equidistance from the outsides, it lets you know that your scope is collimated or in perfect focus or has the ability to gain a perfect focus. It also lets you really see the, the color spectrum coming off the star. And I'm slowly focusing in here with the new equipment. Now you notice outside the star there's quite a bit of noise and this is part of the process of learning the new camera. Um, it does have noise reduction and I'm learning how to use that and dialing it in which um, I'll actually show you in the next image which is a still of Antares. But uh, again this is a really cool star you should know it it's in the southern sky in the warm months. So here is a still, and notice how black the blacks are outside. And you can see um, the, the camera slap made the camera jiggle, so I'm learning how to get the delay set so this doesn't happen. But it's an interesting picture, picture nonetheless. And one of the things about this new camera is there's no pixel blending at the pixel level, so you get really sharp edges, which is going to just be great when we actually shoot objects, unknown objects and UFOs. And to demonstrate this, here's a bird that always comes every evening and sits on the fence and catches bugs. Um, but you can see there's no pixel blending. Like on a typical camera for face shots and stuff, it blends the edges of the pixels together. Um, this guy's not quite perfectly in focus, but you can see that there's no pixel blending, which is going to be great for chem UFOs, lunar objects. It's just going to be fantastic. All right, so here we are to globular cluster M22. And I'm going to show you the process. So as you start trying to dial in a camera, you're learning how to balance. This isn't a great shot. And they get progressively a little bit better as we go along here, and it culminates in what you're really after. So still, things aren't great in this shot. And now it's starting to dial in. Um, the noise is out of the image. The blacks are really black. Um, and you're starting to get a little color in things. But still, this is nowhere near what M22 can look like. Once you get the camera dialed in, you can take a series of shots and stack them and take longer exposures, and you end up with this. Now, globular clusters are ancient things that orbit the core of the galaxy. This particular one has over 70,000 stars, and they're just kind of stunning to see through a telescope because there are so many. These are all suns jammed into this little area. Okay, so finally I have my t-shirts that everyone's been asking for for sale at Cafe Press. Um, if you 
get a shirt or whatever and take a picture of yourself and send it to me at my Facebook, which is in the description of this video, as is the link to Cafe Press, I will include your image as a supporter in future clips. And there it is. Cheers.